All right guys, welcome to the Ad Tactics training. In this video, we are going to be talking about authorizing Ad Tactics. You're gonna learn just how to save it and how to display the Ad Tactics menu. So, pretty easy. Uh, the first thing is when you're in the members area here, you're just gonna click download. And one thing you wanna make sure is you're actually in your Google account. So one thing you can do is hover over any of these icons next to the share buttons in the files and you can confirm that that Google account there is kind of where you're saving the, the file. So uh, when you click the download button, it's going to automatically place the file into whatever account that you're currently logged into. So you can see here, you're just gonna hit make a copy and then it's actually going to open the file up right like this. And you just, again, wanna make sure that you've already pre-logged in to that Google account. And then the login and password, this is gonna be different potentially than the account that uh, you're saving the tools in. So that's one thing to definitely understand. Uh, these fields must match what you use here to log into the members area. So. Um, if my email is FBXL demo, then you're just going to plug that here. Okay, and your password is the same password that you log into. So login, password, and if you ever have any issues with actually getting the menu to display, the first thing I recommend you do is copy and paste the email and password that you're using here right in the members area login and just confirm that you don't have something messed up. Usually it's a grammatical error. Uh, capitalization obviously with passwords matter, so uh, extra spaces, things like that. But this is a way you can confirm that you've got the right email and the right password. And then once you confirm you can log in, then you can always go, come back and then just make sure you paste that information into these uh, two input cells and you don't have the one of these be like the active cell and you're inside it uh, that's that's another common issue that users will make they'll be inside the cell still editing it and then try to hit authorize that won't work you have to click outside of the uh, two input cells there and again just make sure you don't have any extra spaces and things like that and you should be good all right and then once you've input those two fields and you've confirmed that uh, the tool is actually saved in the proper account. You can have these be the same account. Uh, most users will create a dummy account just because they don't wanna uh, have the tools linked to like a personal profile. And if you do go that route, which most, again, most users do and we recommend that, uh, you can always open up a second window using Google Chrome and make it an incognito window. And that way you can have one window be your personal account profile and then the other incognito be kind of your dummy account with all the FPXL tools in it. That's personally what I do. So uh, that's uh, one other point. And then the only other steps are you're gonna wanna make sure you choose your market here. Uh, you can see I've got US set. And then if you haven't set up any other FPXL premium tools, uh, you need to do that in this step. You can just hover over this link and click this button here. And it's going to take you to this page here. All right, and then here's where you're actually going to put in the, again, members area login, which that is this login here that you use to get access to the members area. So that goes in the first prompt. And then here's where your dummy account goes, which that's what we've confirmed is uh, the drive account that we have, um, that we have the tool saved in and that we're already logged into. And again, you can confirm that right there. So you can see both of those match and you'll just click save this account. You'll be taken to another screen uh, that gives you a few more instructions, but essentially once you do this, you just need to wait one to two minutes and then you can hop back into Add Tactics and authorize it. One other comment I'll make is make sure you have these in all lowercase and you don't have any extra spaces. Uh, it's very important. A lot of times they'll just be minor grammatical issues that uh, or errors that users make here, and this will prevent the authorization from working. So just triple check that you've got those two things synced up properly, and then you're just gonna come back in here, all right, and you're gonna click authorize. Now the first time you click authorize, you're gonna have this 
grant permissions screen pop up. You just need to hit authorization, authorization required, hit OK. And then you'll have this prompt here. And because we're already logged in to the Google account, we're essentially granting permission to ourself. So as soon as you click your email here, you're basically taking ownership of the file and we're from from FBA Excel standpoint we're not able to see any data anything like that so no worries there the only time we would be able to see any data is if you click this green share button and actually share the copy with us so uh, that's that's going to be your choice so you'll click show advanced and then go to add tactics down here at the bottom all right and then you're just going to scroll down and hit allow All right, and then once that is done, you should be able to click author, authorize again, and you'll see the menus pop up. So that's as simple as it is. And now with each time you open the file, you can see here in red, you'll just have to click this authorize button one time. All your stuff will be still in here. So you can just click authorize and the menu should pop up right away. So I will see you guys on the next training.